So let's see. First of all, we'll talk about the goal of uh, losing weight. Um, it's very hard, if not impossible, to achieve without exercise. So weight loss requires not just a burst of exercise, but a long-term lifestyle change. All right, this is about the 2190 rule. It takes 21 days to create a habit and 90 days to create a lifestyle. So every bit of exercise helps with weight loss. The goal for our patients is four to five days out of the week for 45 minutes at a time. Uh, we know not everyone can start off with 45 minutes at one time, but if you can reach that, then for the next eight hours, your metabolism will actually be boosted and your body will burn calories at a higher rate. And by the way, this is Lauren Waltz, uh, PA with uh, Dr. Black and Dr. Liu. Another motivational meme, every day is another chance to get stronger, to eat better, to live healthier, and to be the best version of you. So what kind of types of exercise uh, do you need to do in order to count for weight loss? Basically the answer is anything that gets your body moving, such as uh, walking, exercise bike, yoga, swimming, Zumba, weightlifting, elliptical, stair, stepter, uh, stair stepper, hiking, um, you know, pretty much anything that, that gets your body moving, your heart pumping, and get yourself a little out of breath. There's so many benefits to exercise. So we listed just a few. Um, burning off calories, losing weight, uh, maintaining muscle tone while you lose your fat, increasing your metabolic rate, <clears throat> um, improving your circulation, your heart and lung function, uh, your sense of self-control, your level of stress, increasing your ability to concentrate, improving your appearance, reducing depression, suppressing your appetite. It also helps you sleep better, helps uh, prevent many uh, weight-related diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Um, also decrease your risk of some cancers, such as uh, breast, ovary, and colon cancers. All right, um, so one benefit to exercise is that it relieves stress. Um, some of our patients who come to us for weight loss surgery have a habit of eating when they're stressed, and our goal is to help change that relationship with food and replace exercise as a stress reliever. So there are some barriers to exercise, um, and we'll go through kind of each one um, and kind of talk a way around it. So a uh, physical ailments is the first barrier to exercise, and I would say the majority of our patients actually have problems with their joints, their feet, or their back. Um, you are not alone, so there are exercises for everyone, no matter your physical condition. Um, sometimes that means just sitting in a chair, doing leg lifts or arm raises with light weights. Um, and biking is actually a great exercise for people with knee problems. Um, a lot of orthopedic doctors, uh, when they do like knee replacement surgery and stuff like that, biking is the first exercise that you do to strengthen your knees. <clears throat> Motivational quote, do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. All right, the next barrier to exercise is time. Um, some of our patients are understandably very busy with work and family and they can't see how they can add in exercise. Um, if nothing else, make sure that you get in the habit of parking far away in the parking lot and walking into the store. Um, you can always take the stairs instead of an elevator. Uh, if you have kids, for example, with sports practice, uh, you could walk around the field while they're practicing. Um, if you have kids who just wanna watch TV, Try to uh, get them motivated, bring them along with you for a hike or a walk at the local school track and get them involved in exercise as well. Um, some of our patients have told us that waking up first thing in the morning to go to the gym has actually surprisingly become their favorite way to start the day and they never would have thought that before they started. Money is another uh, barrier to exercise. Um, gym membership and exercise equipment can be very expensive and it's not for everyone. But there's definitely plenty of ways to exercise that are free. 
So walking, dancing to music around the house, um, taking an aerobics YouTube exercise class, and you can do that right in your living room. Um, you can also find objects around the house that can act um, like as weights to lift. <clears throat> Motivational quote, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. All right, next barrier to exercise, lack of motivation. Sometimes the biggest barrier to exercise is lack of motivation. Um, sometimes it does help people to make short-term goals for the week and maybe giving yourself a reward, not necessarily a food reward. Um, many of our patients find it helpful to have an exercise buddy to keep each other accountable, um, or you can make it a family activity. Sometimes people um, you get their whole family together and um, enjoy it as a family activity together. Um, the excess skin that some people have when they lose weight is sometimes a motivator because um, they can actually, you know, when they get to a certain weight, you can get that excess skin surgically removed. Um, as far as like toning your skin uh, and the excess uh, skin exercise is actually the only thing in your power to help tone that skin. Some days it's hard to find motivation. Some days motivation finds you. <laughs> So the bottom line is that exercise is crucial in order to lose weight. Um, we've basically heard every excuse in the book, but we haven't heard one good enough to outweigh the benefits of exercise. Motivational quote, losing weight is hard, being overweight is hard, choose your hard. And another one, exercise because zombies will eat the slow ones first. All right, thanks for coming to our talk, and if you have any questions, just let us know. <laughs>